Time now to talk business and politics. Joining me at the roundtable are KATV's lead capital reporter and weekend anchor Janelle Lilly and talk business and politics contributor Frank Scott, who by day plays a banker at First Security Bank and by night is a highway commissioner. So uh, he's a superhero. <laughs> Thanks for both of you, uh, to both of y'all for being here. All right, big stories of the week. I'm coming to Frank first. I would say the big story this week is Walmart's uh, kind of strategic focus on their e-commerce division in Silicon Valley. Not too many people actually knew there was an e-commerce division there, and all the things that they're doing uh, kind of brings more highlight of what Arkansas can do in regards to technology. All right, that's a good one there. All right, Janelle, your I'm big gonna story. I'm going to say uh, Governor Hutchinson and weighing in on Syria. After that tweet came out and then the statement, and then you had mayors weighing in and everybody and their brother stopping me at every place I walked into to ask me my opinion on the matter. It was, uh, it was definitely a shot heard around the Capitol and around Arkansas. I think uh, what was really telling is the fact that we've only in the last few years let 14 refugees into mm -hmm. the state of Arkansas. So it seems that it's already been a policy in place, mm -hmm. you know, to be very, very careful about this. But um, I think the fact that it was such a, a public announcement and, you know, put out there on Twitter right after uh, what the terrible tragedy in Paris, I yeah. think that it was certainly well, something. He commented in greater detail in his conference call from China yes. and Japan exactly. on his Asian trip there and was basically just said, it kind of stemmed from his experiences in homeland security and what he's seen through that lens. And Congress. I think that's why we've only seen so, you know, so few refugees already into the, the state. So really mm. interesting stuff What's your there. opinion, Frank? Um, as again, another thing that I do, I'm a minister, so I would definitely say we should do all we can to show some compassion towards those refugees because uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ could have been considered a refugee too during his time. Yeah. All right. My big story of the week um, is on highway funding. We got a highway commissioner <laughs> here, and I think it was a huge political and business nice. story this week. Uh, the working panel that you've been a part of, Frank, is obviously putting out some recommendations. The governor came out pretty quickly and said, if it's not revenue neutral, I'm probably not going to be for it. So, I mean, I just kind of, where do things go from here? I mean, it sounds like there's going to be an impasse on all this. Well, what, what we've done as a uh, governor's highway funding working group is really just adhere to the executive order, giving the governor a menu of options, and I think he'll have a lot to consider and kind of mull over and figure out what's the best route for the state. Hopefully he chooses proposal number three. I think that's the is most... Is that your proposal? That's my proposal. <laughs> uh, which does what? Which it basically uh, garners about $460 million, and it helps us to not touch general revenue. And But it raises the gas tax. It does raise the gas tax. Yeah, which he says he's against. He has You're going to need some options. serious persuasion on menu this. options. Yeah, I think at some point, you know, you're going to have enough political pressure to to maybe wiggle something around because there there is a need. I mean, I think anyone who drives around knows that there's yeah. a need, and so a matter of you know how you do that and what the governor is willing to step behind and what he's not and how he's going to you know, cut and paste throughout all the options. I think there's going to be some difficulty selling a revenue neutral proposal because you're going to raise some taxes on some people and you are going to lower some taxes in another area. And even though that may equate to um, equal in terms of the state budget, there's still going to be some, some populations that are not going to appreciate that. I know some of the conservative groups are going to be anti-tax on anything. So I, I, I don't think it's a slam dunk. I think you guys got a big challenge in front of you. This is true. All right. <laughs> we got to wrap up the show on air here, but you guys stick around. We're going to do a web extra. Mm -hmm. We're going to make some political predictions or maybe some business predictions, some predictions of some sort. Great. All right. Janelle Lilly, Frank Scott, thank you for being here. Thank you. you can catch that uh, uh, online edition at talkbusiness.net as soon as we go off the air if you're watching us right here. That is all for this week's edition of Talk Business and Politics. I'm Roby Brock. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time. We're back with our web extra. I'm with Talk Business and Politics contributor Frank Scott, KATV's lead capital reporter and weekend anchor Janelle Lilly. And we decided we would do some predictions <laughs> off the air. And uh, so that's what this is. Do I need to go first? Yeah, uh, you, you go guys first. You go first. All right. So here is my prediction for what's happening. Governor Asa Hutchinson will come back from his trip to Asia with a job prospect in hand or he will be successful in recruiting the Chinese agriculture minister to come make a trip to Arkansas on behalf of 
Arkansas agriculture. Those are those are my predictions. I don't know if that's a prediction, Ruby. I feel like you might already have some inside knowledge yeah. about. I have one not of those. talked to the governor or anyone on this. It is just my gut instinct that I think that that will happen. So. Well, I predict that the rumor mill that we talked to you about earlier is going to just keep running rampant, even though it shouldn't. And uh, we probably aren't going to see any real information on the story for a while. For how long of a while? After the special session, I would assume. When will there be a special session? That's another <laughs> prediction you haven't jumped out there. Um, I. This is to deal with the private option. Yeah, and, the private and option. I would, I would guess that it would be over by March. Okay, so after first of the year. Yeah. All right, Frank, you get the last word on a political, pre or on any kind of prediction, well, political or business. One, I, I think there will be a special session for highways, and I think it will be addressed some way, shape, form, or fashion. It may not be as necessary to what everyone wants, uh, so I, I fully expect that to happen. All right, those are good predictions. You guys <laughs> did good for off the cuff there. <laughs> Janelle Lilly, Frank Scott, thanks so much. You can keep up with all of the latest business and political headlines and even some more political predictions and business predictions on our website at talkbusiness.net. Thanks for tuning in.